Emotional intelligence is one of the most popular phrases in the mental health community. Emotional intelligence is about our intellect on understanding how we feel and being able to express how we feel to other people. Unfortunately, in life, <laughs> we're taught to be emotionally strong. We're taught to repress emotions and not to wear our feelings on our shoulders. We're taught that we have to fight through difficult times emotionally and learn to just move on. Unfortunately, when we begin to repress those feelings, we begin to carry emotional baggage. And as we navigate through this pandemic, the more emotional baggage we carry, the more it can become stressful on ourselves, on our relationships, and, on our, and in our families. And it's important, matter of fact, it's imperative that we learn emotional intelligence so that we can share with other people what's happening with us. But because that's not the skill that we learn in life, like I said, we begin to learn to carry emotional stress through this journey of life. And it can oftentimes become detrimental for some. I know this personally because it just happened to someone that I know. You see, I just lost a close friend. Someone that was carrying emotional baggage and I didn't even know because what I seen was somebody that was happy. Someone that could make other people laugh, but deep down inside was struggling emotionally. His family and friends were not able to come in quick enough to save him and he didn't make it. You see, these types of experiences is why I decided to move into the mental health field, to be able to work with other people, to, to be able to let those emotions out so that they can be heard and learn to move on with life. But what I wanted to realize is that when people are not able to express their emotions, they begin to suffer in silence. And just like my friend suffering in silence, no one tells you that you have to cope in positive ways in those moments. Unfortunately, we begin to cope in negative ways. And for him, his way to cope with that emotional baggage was to turn to alcohol. The alcohol eventually got the best of him. As we move in through this pandemic, as we begin to build resilience to navigate through this journey, through this traumatic experience, it's important that we understand three things. It's important to implement these three things so that we do not carry extra emotional baggage through this journey. And the one thing that you can do as a family is check in with family members, check in with your partner, check in and make sure that they are okay. And if you feel like they are not, then try to do whatever it is that you can to just be there for them wherever they are. And oftentimes that may require just sitting in that loneliness with them until they can figure it out. The second thing that you can do to make sure that you're building resilience within your relationship, within your family, is ask open-ended questions instead of closed-ended questions. 
open-ended questions gives them an opportunity to explore more of what's happening with them emotionally. So instead of just asking, did you have a good day today? And they respond yes or no, you can easily ask, what was the best day, part of the day? And you can even ask, what was the most difficult part of the day? Really allow them to open up, make sense of what has happened with them, and be able to articulate that information to you. And the third thing, to really build resilience within your family, within your relationship, is share what you need, especially in difficult times. And the more that you're able to let out what you need and have those needs fulfilled, the more you'll be able to realize I'll be all right in this pandemic. I'll be able to make it through loneliness. I don't have to suffer in silence. So I challenge you, build your emotional intelligence so that you can build resilience within your family and your relationship.